in the business for five years now this year. And I'm going to just go through now at the minute um, a little training on um, just maybe embracing change and moving forward with, with, with the time. So that's something I'm going to going to now go through. And then Chris is going to do a great training on um, spotting and developing users through and helping them to go. Okay, so if anyone can't hear me, if this goes on, let me know. So, don't be afraid of change, okay? There's lots of ways um, that our business does change with time, okay? Now, the fundamentals of this business never change. It's always the same. It's always the same basic, but things do change. Change will, will always be a part of our life. So we really need to learn to kind of embrace that, don't we? We all need to kind of move with the times a little bit. You know, many people years ago actually didn't think that the motor car would ever be a way of the future. They all really believed that the motor car was for the rich people and that normal everyday people would always still use the horse and car. You know, and obviously times did change. We did move along, didn't we? And then you have, you know, the good old cassette tape that we all used to watch when we watch videos. We, we moved on. We moved on to the DVD and the Blu-ray. And, you know, many people thought that that was the future. And that was the way to go. And, we, you know, we moved on to the online streaming of movies. And no one ever really thought that that would replace the DVD because they thought that, you know, that people would want to keep that. But, you know, if Blockbuster would have embraced that if they would have kind of moved with the times of the online streaming, they would probably still be around today. Mm -hmm. And all I'm trying to say here is it's okay to be comfortable where you are, but just don't get mad when you get left behind. And that's just the way it goes. Things do move with the times, and we all really do need to embrace it. Now, the World Wide Web is an amazing thing, isn't it? We can contact so many people, we can Beyond, you know, I have an uncle in Australia, I can talk to him on FaceTime like, like he's a dear. You know, we don't seem to miss him the same because we're connected so much through the internet that the world is not such a big place anymore. Now, social media has revolutionized this industry because we can connect with so many people. Now, I'm, I'm obviously still saying that there's the ways of meeting people face to face. You know, going out and doing that, talking to them, so on, all that, you know, it does still work. But what an amazing tool we've got here as well to, to do that even better and to connect even more. You know, if we want our business to go into other countries, this is definitely a way that we're going to have to embrace because how are we going to communicate with these people? You know, how are we going to build that, that rapport up with people and do the, you know, the selling online and all of that? I think that we all really need to understand that this is not something you know completely different. This is a part of life now, isn't it? But it's not just us. Everyone is everyone's embracing this. Everyone is embracing social media. Every business, every you know, well known business, every major company has a social um, media platform as well. You know, we were only talking, I was talking to Jeff actually, he was on about me trying to get through to somebody at the bank and the only way he actually got through to someone in the end was on the, the face the social media page. And it's the same with everything, you know. I uh, my phone broke, and um, I needed to speak to somebody about my phone. I couldn't get through, and I went on the live chat on the Apple website, and they talked me through fixing the phone on the phone. Now that that's just so quicker, more convenient for me. I had other things to do, and I could do that rather than have to go and get pick up the phone, you know. And this is it's the future, and it is the way that people work. Okay. You know, social media is a way of life. I mean, this, this picture always really makes me laugh, but it is the way, the generation of today, it is the way they all communicate. It's how they, it's all they know. You know, if I tell my kids that we didn't have Facebook when I was younger or even a mobile phone, they think, they think it's crazy. You know, they think of the real olden time, but it's the way they are, it's the way they communicate, it's the way they build reputations. I mean, how many people these days go out on dates, normal, normal fine dates, and the way it's all done through online dating, online apps, anything you can think of, it's done that way. Because the, the, the generation that we're in, everyone wants things quite instant. It's an instant thing. You know, you can stick something in the microwave and get your dinner quick, or 
you know you can order something online and have it here next day or the same day everyone wants things instantly this way it's just it's just the way things is at the minute now facebook changed everything for us in our business we've been in the business for five years like i say in the first two years we did not embrace any any of the facebook and um, we didn't at all and it was only when we did that our business very quickly very rapidly grew and that was through this through, through facebook okay through social media in general through the internet in general but facebook played a massive role and still plays a massive massive role in our in our business and not just in one way i'm not just saying in just in selling there's so many ways that facebook has had such a massive influence in our business and in our business growth now, what has Facebook done for us? Well, recruiting, you know, this is where our team are recruiting, it's where we're recruiting, it's where um, we can get out there lots of information to people. We can sell, we've got our team selling, we've got everybody selling. We can drip feed to our warm market and we expose our business more than we've ever been able to expose it before. You know, we um, actually had, living round the corner from us, uh, two gold legs in plain easy before we joined, literally in the next street. And we never really knew anything about that. We never knew about the business. Yes, we've had a catalogue put to our door, but I had no idea that that catalogue had that business attached to it. I thought it was just a catalogue that come through the door. And when Chris, you know, first come to New York Clean Easy, the first thing I thought was it was just a catalogue. I didn't know that we could build a business from it. And this is the thing, we can expose our business to so many more people now than we ever could before. So, what it gives our team? Well, we can do things like put step-by-step -step guides. You know, we have a team page that's got everything on there, showing them what to do. They want to know how to do a return, how to do a dropship, how to do a direct PayPal link, whatever they need, it's with guides that are easy to access. We've got how-to videos that are easy to access, just on the screen for we can be posting top selling items, we regularly keep up to date, who's selling the best things, what the company top sellers are, everything like that, all the instant access for them to have on the Facebook. Facebook helps us with our team support groups. So we have we have like a you know like a main team group, we've got the team chats, we've got photo libraries. We've got all this there uh, just at our access and it's easy and free and everyone kind of knows how to use it. It's just there. People are on their Facebook anyway and it appears in their news feed. You know, you can post the training. We don't have to wonder whether someone's going to go on their emails and check it. It's just going to appear. They're going to see it. We can tag them in it. We can involve them in all of that. And Facebook has done that for us. Again, we didn't have that before. What it gives our prospects? Well, it gives them an insight into the opportunity more than it ever did. It gives them a chance to see how it all works and it gives them instant access to information. You know, we we do drip feed information to people on Facebook, our friends, our family, dangle that carrot, we want them to come to us and ask us for information. We don't overload them, we don't bombard them and tell them all they have to join us. We want them to come to us. But this is such a better way that we can do that. We can get that across now so much easier than we ever could before. You know, you don't have to keep going and tell someone every time you see them. You can come on and, on Facebook and just see that information without it without it being too pushy. You know, we also have a um, a success group which has got all testimonials in it, and in there we can put prospects, we can put people in there, and they can again be drip, drip fed all the information on a regular basis of how the success from the team, from the company, from just bits of information that's going on, and we can just see it. And when the time's ready for them, we can then come on and join, can't we? Rather than you know, just expecting them to join straight away. Sometimes it's all about when that person is ready in their life for them to come and join. If they're there and seeing all that and they're in the group, then when the time's ready, it'll be like a little reminder for them to come to you. You know, we can have video chats. We can build that reputation, that relationship with our team members. We can have our Zoom meetings. These Zoom meetings have totally changed our business. You know, we have. Um, we have a brilliant Zoom meeting every Monday night with the whole team where we all go on, we do lots of recognition, we do lots of training tips, you know, we get to have chats and give advice and whatever people want. Um, also on a Wednesday night, I have a Going for Gold Zoom meeting for people that are building a team who want to build themselves up for gold and we'll go through different 
trainings and tips and share ideas, but we've built such a great connection, we've built such a great bond and friendship through this. You know, we have a virtual community. I really believe that. You know, we don't have to go just to the events to meet our friends and family. They're there. When we do go to them, we know each other. We're our friends. We've already clicked. We feel like we've known each other for years and years before we even um, have met them. This works really well at getting people to the events. And I can't stress enough that this is the biggest, biggest factor that I think is so important is getting people to the events because what you want more than anything is for your people and your team to see what you see because that's all we want don't we us people on here tonight can see massive opportunity can see massive potential can see what some people don't see in community and wouldn't you want your team to see that through your eyes and to see what you see and you can tell them you can tell them all about the event but you know yourself come in experiencing that feeling the buzz from it all that's when they're going to want to stay as well. That's when they're going to want to stick. And this is the best way of getting people along to them, is by building that virtual community anyway. They all build friends with each other. And then it's like, well, she's coming, I'll come. And then they all start chatting. And, and another thing as well, by doing this, this helps encourage other people to start team building. This has been one of the biggest assets we've had in the duplication going on in our, in our team. You know, there's a lot of duplication going on out here and so many people sponsoring um, and it's working for us and the fact that the friends are sponsoring is encouraging them. So they've made these little friends with other people in the team, they've all got chatting and because they're sponsoring, they want to have a go as well. Or we can just see, you know, we've had a brand new lady who's been in the business for a month, that's it, she joined a month ago and a week ago she says to me, um, I might have a go at that building thing that you've been telling me about okay so i sent her some adverts i sent her some responses and said this is what you need to go and do she has sponsored seven people in a week in her first week as well seven people and she's just you know she's got that beginner's mind she's kept it simple she's just following it and doing it not understanding but we're getting this we're getting so many people i mean again joanne warm and our gold leg last lady she sponsored 27 people that was fantastic absolutely amazing the best ever this lady, she sponsored 29, straight after sponsoring 27. You know, we've already had another 165 people join us again this period. I think Chris haven't brought in 165 people, we've brought in 11. So our team are copying, the duplicating, and I really believe it's all down to this. I really believe that it's because the friends are doing it, we can see how simple it is, we can see other people are doing it, and they're all just doing their job. So it's really important, if you're not embracing the whole community side, to Facebook, please do because it's, it's, I think it's one of the biggest keys to growing your business. We've built the best friendship ever in our team. I really do class with people as my bestest friends, not just team members. We all get on so well. We have so much fun in and around the business. And again, this has all been built through Facebook. I don't know if we would have had that connection, that bond, if we didn't have them little chats, you know, the chat boxes that we have going on all the time and the, the just the, the whole banter that goes on. I don't know if we would have had that if we didn't have online. You know, it, otherwise it would just be once a month at the meeting, wouldn't it? Where we've got it all the time now. So for us, online is appealing. Again, like I said, we, it's, it's instant, isn't it? Some people nowadays, they look for the easy option. So for them, pressing a few buttons, selling a few things on Facebook, sounds more appealing some people then it does going out from the catalog out okay but what we do is we use this then online is debate it's how we get people in how we attract them to our business how we get them run over then we get them hooked on selling okay we very quickly get them to, to get selling with the friends with the family in the buying selling groups setting up their own groups get them sales quick get them hooked on selling then we introduce the catalog now I don't want people to get like get me wrong here where I've been speaking about online because catalogs I know are the backbone of this business and we have a catalog customer base. All our leaders have a catalog customer base and we, we encourage them all to have catalog customer bases. But we use online our debate to get them in. We get them in, we get them hooked, we get them some welcome rewards in their hands, and then we get them to go and get them catalogs out. We then they start to see the power of the customer base. You know, we constantly 
showing them things like the order that you're picking up from customers in the catwalk. And they're like, well, I've been trying all week to get that many orders and you just pick that up in a day. And that's the type of thing you're getting across. And then that, that seems to come in now. Yeah, then they want to part that. So don't get me wrong, we are not just totally an online business. It's just what we use to hook people in. And, then, and don't get me wrong as well. Some people don't want to do catalogs and that's fine. Cause what, what we're all about is looking at people's circumstances, looking what fits in in their life and what's right for them and running with it. You know, if we have some people, like for example, we have um, Harry and Alistair, who are Rachel and Jane Gold, Gold Leg. Now, they both joined this business. They didn't need an extra income. They weren't looking for anything. They both had very high pressured, um, you know, very good jobs who were very long hours. And they had, they had a baby as well, a one year old baby. Now, they could just see a, ma a massive opportunity between these, and that's why they joined. But they didn't necessarily have that time. To do all the cataloging. So for them, this is just they are a goal business and they fit this in perfectly, you know, they've done a trip to crack out and they've done this online. Don't get me wrong, they're building up some catalogue customers, but they're doing it in their own pace, at their own time, steadily in between work. But online has been their focus and recruiting and building a big team. And they've then gone on to build themselves a goal business that's given them a great income every single month and I can say they're going to have a great future in the business. But they didn't have to spend a lot of time cataloging, they're just fitting it in, just fitting in what they can and when they can. And I think that's the important thing is looking at each person in a unique way and, and doing what's right for them. When we've done that we get them hooked to learning. And this is this is the, you know I think probably one of the again one of the most important things. We introduce the learning, we really believe we feel really strongly about personal development and our team because I know personally that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the personal development. I am not the person who was going to join this business. I did used to think it was all mumbo jumbo when I started, but I tell you it's not. It really is not the case because if you want to become a great leader, you want to be able to learn new skills, you've got to learn, develop, grow. And if you get hooked to the learning and become a sponge and soak it all in, then you'll see your business start to grow. But we do that in lots of ways. You know, we have our meetings, so our Zoom meetings are very structured and we have on the top of trainings and we do you know, I always encourage, uh, well, that's the first step to learning, learning straight away, is coming on the Zoom meetings and following the systems that we use, following the trainings that we offer. We have a book of the month, each month, where we get people on certain books that get them hooked on it. You know, one month we've done the, um, the Dave O'Connor, and it's a 21 day kickstart. And for this one, we set up a little group just for the book review, and each day we post, you know, what was going on in that in the, the 21 day. So day one, what was happening, we had Dave off on his blueprint, we had people commenting and giving their feedback. And you know what, it just got everyone like really hooked to it. And I think that's something that, for me personally, I'm finding great pleasure, pleasure in watching these people grow as people. And I think that's like a big, a massive key to it. You know, and they're the ones that are going to go on and grow big businesses if they grow as a person. And that's just really is the case. So be a student, but not always necessarily a follower. Now, yes, when you're new, and yes, when you're going to come in, you've got this previous system, you're going to follow it. But more importantly, be a student. So soak up that information, pick out what works for you, use your strengths, and, and do it that way. You know, it doesn't have to always be about following, because sometimes if it's not about what you personally achieved, if you just followed someone, you don't get the same feeling from it. Whereas if you're taking on that information and board and, and putting it in the right places and, and developing yourself and developing your team, then that's definitely the way to go down. Keeping it simple is really, really important because the more we know, the more we overcomplicate things. Sometimes when people ask us how we run our business and we tell them, they look at us a little bit confused, like we're holding stuff back. We really are not holding anything back. We want more than anything. This entire company to be doing, and we won't hold anything back. But we, it's really simple what we do, and we do that because we want a child to be able to follow what we do. Anyone can come in and follow our system, what we teach. So it's not that it's um, we're holding things back, it's very basic, it's very simple, and it's working. So, what do we teach our people? Well, we teach them when they come in, they come in and join online. The target is £35 sales every single day. That's what we teach, it's just something that we have in the head. Don't get me wrong, that everyone does this, but if we kind of set the bar, £35 of the sales every day is £1,000 in a period. 
You know, so it's going to get them to the bonus, it's going to get them up 10% on track, £35 a sale every day. Now, we tell them to do that by blanket shopping, buying and selling goods for six months until they've got themselves an online customer base. Same as you do with your catalogues. Buying and selling sites is full of buyers, and you want your group full of buyers that you, that's going to buy off you months in themselves. Okay, so that's how we teach our selling system. Then we want got people who want to sponsor. We don't push sponsoring on anyone. We don't say to them on day one, you have to sponsor. But we don't make a big issue out of it. And because we talk about it all the time, people generally come to you and say they want to join. So if they want to sponsor, all they tell them to do is speak to 10 to 15 people every single day. Now, that can be done in any way. So whether they're doing putting flyers out, whether they're putting shop ads out, whether they're putting ads on Facebook, whether they're speaking to people they know, as long as they send information to 10 to 15 people every day. So what we always say is, have your list, have your checklist, put your adverts out, and if at the end of the night you've only spoke to let's say seven people, no one's really responded to your adverts, then you need to message your wall market with some information. Okay, so as long as you do that, as long as you do 10 to 15 people every day and you focus on that activity and not the result, it can only snowball, it can only go one way. Now, this is the bit that I think is really important, but we really stress that it's going to take a minimum of four to six weeks of daily constant activity of speaking to 10 to 15 people every day before we get one sign up. Now, yes, we're going to get some that's going to get quick results, you know, like the lady that's done seven in the first week. Yes, that's going to happen. But if we say to them it's going to take four to six weeks, then they're more likely to stick and focus on that activity and not that result, okay? Because what happens is I can guarantee them at the end of six weeks, they will have people to join in. And, they will, and if they keep that up, they will happy with joining all the time, constant, constant, constant. You know, if you're warm, they'll tell you if you're going to be another 29 people in period. Only a few months ago, I remember having a conversation with her of how other people were getting so many people and not, and she wasn't. And it was, trust, trust me, all the systems do this every day, every day, every day, and they will come flowing. Because what happens is you'll get someone who's walked through six weeks ago, then someone from a few weeks before that, and Someone again from two weeks ago, and then someone in just a few years, and then someone that just says yes, and it's like that continuously. And you will have people joining your business continuously. Just follow it. 10 to 15 people every single day. But if you stop, it doesn't work. You can't stop, stop, start, stop, start. Don't do a few of the weekend, then you don't run through the week. Or do have a week off, or have a few days off. This is, I can't guarantee that you're going to have that. I can guarantee you're going to get them results if you follow it every day. I can guarantee you, I've not had anyone that's not who stuck to it. But the problem is, people will say, ah, it's not worth this. I've sent out 100 people information and they're not interested. Okay, has it been six weeks yet? So it was, that's why. And this is what has got to happen. On average, you know, if you send out information on Facebook adverts, I'd say around 50 people information to get one to sign up. Now, for a new person, 50 people that are sending information to just seem like a lot. Seem like a lot of no's, can't it? And I can't guarantee it will be on number 50 will sign someone because you could speak to 150 people and then sign three in at once. But the average is always average that way. But if they just focus on that activity, get them to trust you and do it, then it, then it will work. So be patient, okay? This is the thing now. Trust, have trust in it, and just be patient. And then be the best version of you. Again, I think this is another big massive point have that slight edge go that extra mile do that little extra thing that other people don't do be the one to stand out be the best team leader you can possibly be be the best team member you can possibly be just go that extra mile and just do that and become above, above average if you want and above average you can. and make sure that your expectations are high raise that bar there's so many people whose expectations are so low and that's why, you know, so many people just settle, settle for things. I mean, I, I've heard people saying at Target, though, I might sponsor one person next period. One person? Really? All period? You're only going to sponsor? Where, where are you standing? Why? If you want to build a team, you want to build a business, you need to have that bar set high. You know, it's what pushed us, especially in the early days. You know, the focus group has got some amazing people in there, some great leaders. And for us in the early days, to try and compete, with these people and try and push ourselves to because the bar was set so high. Push us, don't go with the easy crowd, okay? Push yourself all the time. 
but don't compare yourself. So yes, you want to push yourself, but you don't want to compare. Like it says here, don't compare your chapter one to somewhere else's chapter twenty. The thing is, you see the success. You see suddenly someone coming with a lot of success. Yeah. Wow, look what they've done. That's amazing. How have you done that? You must have a secret. But you only see the success. You don't see how hard that person has worked in the background. You don't see what's been going on. You don't see their life outside of that. You only see the results. So please don't compare yourself because you don't know what other people's circumstances are, people that have been doing it longer than you, or anything. Okay, just don't compare yourself in any way. Because winners focus on winning and losers focus on winning. For us, again, in the early days, we, what happened with us, we went to a meeting and um, Ian Williams and the focus group was doing the training. And me and Chris had been searching for the big secret for very long. We really believe that there must be something that other people were doing that we weren't. There's a secret recruiting system out there that we need to find. And that was what our focus was. And I remember Ian Williams doing the training and he went through like a daily plan from the minute he got up till he went to bed of everything he'd done in the day, of how he worked his business, of how he got his leads, how he spoke to them. And I can, it was a massive eye opener. We sat there and walked out and said to Chris, you know what? There is no secret. They're not doing anything different to us. We're just doing more than us. And that was when we took responsibility for it. Take 100% responsibility. It's up to you. It doesn't matter about other people. You don't pass blame. And this is the thing. By thinking there's another secret and another way, and something that other people are not telling you, that is, in effect, passing blame because it's not your fault, is it? Because they're doing something secret. It's not your fault that you're not doing well. So you need to take responsibility. It's actually very uplifting when you take responsibility and it makes you just go for it. You have to, you have no chance. All that time that you spend looking at other people is very distracting and you could have spent it looking at your own business and working. We realised this, we got our heads down, we didn't stop and our business didn't look up to all the goals and then beyond and we just carried on. And it is what has been the turning point for us. It's just taking that responsibility. We don't need to pass blame. Okay? I've heard, you know, we can pass blame on things like how to stop or the company, anything. No, because other people are growing fine, aren't they? You know, our team has gone through the outer stops. Our team has gone through the word house moves. Our team is growing. Our team is still at its peak. We're beating last period than we did this period. We're flying. We're having an amazing period again. We're having lots of people come in. We're seeing lots of success. We're not posting in secret selling groups or speaking to a secret member because we're all ordering from a secret selling uh, stock. It's not the case. We are all doing what everybody else is doing. It's all about taking responsibility and just pushing forward. If you want it, it's your business. What are you going to do about it? It's up to you, isn't it? Just go and make it work. So, success, it's up to you, isn't it? At the end of the day, if you want it, it's yours, you can have it. But you have to work really hard for it. You have to remember that. So, today is a new day. A fresh start. A fresh start for everybody. And we can go on, you know, we've got a new period coming. We can go on and make this as big as we want. We can build this year as big as we want. So thank you very much. That's it from me tonight. And I'm now going to pass you over to my wonderful husband, who is who's now going to start his training on spotting leaders and helping them develop goals. Good evening, ladies and gents. I hope you all took some notes there because there's some fabulous training from Claire. Uh, that's just enough to, to grow your business you know, instantly. So I hope you took plenty of notes. I guess, as Claire said, I'm going to show you how to spot some leaders and then support them to gold. You know, like le leadership says there, it's an in to empower people and to inspire people. So these are the fundamentals of what leadership is. So... The secret of building a successful ML business, and that exactly what it is, is to build leaders. And you don't just want to build leaders, you want to make them a complete and utter success, because this is what's going to support you in the future, especially if you want that residual income, um, to just make your leaders as strong as possible, uh, and to self-sustained as well. So, yeah. Right, okay, so there's two types of people in this business. First of all, we've got leaders, we've got distributors. Now, leaders, as we say, are here for life. But distributors, 
they're only temporary. You see, distributors come into this business for all sorts of reasons. You know, maybe they want to um, pay off the mortgage, pay a car loan, you know, um, a, a trip to Disney World like we wanted when we first joined. There's all sorts of ways. But the distributors, once they get what they need, a lot of them do tend to fall by the wayside and move on. Um, but we want to create that distributor and, and make them into a leader, and that's, that's the whole point here. So my question to you is, would you rather have one leader or 100 distributors? I can tell you right now, when I first joined this business, I would have snapped your hands off for 100 distributors, because it sounds great. Let me tell you. Remember, leaders are for life and distributors that are only temporary. You know, you see, what will happen here is you've got your 100 distributors, and as you're bringing them in, they're dropping out. And it'll become a full time occupation for you. And then, you know, when people come into network marketing, especially if you want to be a leader, you'll be coming for a residual income. And that's a residual income is an income that comes in whether you work this business or not. So if you, believe it or not, you work hard for five to ten years in this business. You could be tied in the business, not do another day of work, and you'll still receive the income. That's the dream. So if you're wanting that, then the 100 distributors doesn't serve you. It's the one leader that you'll be looking for. Now, the part is, is how do we spot the leaders? Now, tonight, it's dead easy because it's you. You're the leaders. You took time out on your Tuesday to come and listen to Chloe and I, which we're very grateful for, first of all. And, you know, you, you, you took your time out. That, you, that's a leadership trait. You know, if you're going to your meetings, once a that's leadership. You know, commend yourself, pat yourself on the back for that, because, you know, you do have the traits of a leader. Other attributes, you know, you've, as a leader, you've got to be coachable. You know, you've got to be uh, a sponge, taking all the information that you can. So you've got to be great with people. You know, as a leader yourself, when you speak to your new team member, after a couple of conversations, you will know whether they're great with people. Now, I'll tell you now, if they're not great with people, that's fine. You know, everyone starts somewhere, but there's a book for it. You know, point them in the right direction, and they can improve on that. You know, your leadership, the leaders have a, a vision of the future. You know, uh, they know the destination where they want to go. You know, they're willing to learn and succeed. And commit to the actions needed to get to where you need to be. You know, if you as a sponsor tell your um, tell your downline to go and do certain actions that will get them success, if they're committing to the actions needed, that's the leadership trait you're looking for. And to be able to handle problems. And sometimes it's not all about asking questions all the time. You know, if you can solve it on your own, again, that's fabulous. You know, that's, again, leadership. So how do we find leaders? Well, you could, first of all, you could try advertising. You know, advertising for leaders is, is, it is you know, you can do it, but it's hard to do. And I'll tell you why, because that leader that you're looking for is out earning a crust, doing a, a, some uh, income producing activities, and they won't be able to see you advertising. Or you could steal some of the networks. You know, some people do that, I wouldn't recommend it. But the simple reason is, if they're leaving their network behind, they're leaving the team behind. You know, you never leave your shoulders in the trench. At the end of the day, you know, if they're going to probably do that to you in two years' time, you know, are they worth having in your business? Or why don't we just build leaders from scratch? You know, everyone has the potential to be a leader. Anybody. You know, whether they have the attributes now or not, it can be taught. So, what do leaders, leaders look like? Well, I would have said when I first joined, a managing director would have had the traits that we were looking for. Good with people, fantastic recruiting, you know, uh, know how to run an organization and a business. But you, know, you have a certain mentality in, in network marketing, and it's really hard to come from the corporate world, especially when you're hired in the corporate world, to take the plunge and do this business. It's the same with your high-flying businessman. You know, um, you're sitting all the sales targets there is, but changing his mentality to do what we do, it's hard. So I would say there's four categories to be looking for. This is where you're going to find your leaders. 
the people who are looking for the job, you know, you might think, oh, they're looking for the job. If they're not in the job, well, why aren't they? It doesn't matter. These people want to feed the families. They want to pay bills. Some people are, are absolutely desperate for a job. You know, they've, they've looked and looked and looked and they can't find the right job. These are the ones you're going to find the leaders. What about your stay-at-home mums and dads? You know, you could, they will have a partner who's got a career. They will want to do something for themselves. You know, these are perfect people. They're staying at home and it's perfect for this business. Or your students, you know, they've got the student loans to pay. They, you know, they've got lots of free time to work around the college. You know, the hungry people, you know, you can find some fantastic leaders there. Or the, what, what I would like to say is the redundancy. You know, people coming from redundancy, they, they are desperate to just find that income and they will do what it takes to get to the top and to earn that money that they've lost. You know, uh, you'll find some fantastic leaders that way. So this is where you need to, you know, you gather your marketing and, you know, focus on these four types. But once they're in your business, you've signed them up, <clears throat> how do you know, how, how, how can you tell that they're leaders? Well, we spot them in the team chat. We have a team chat and you can see the name constantly, constantly popping up. Um, these are the people that come into the forefront, helping other people you know they will be answering questions finding pictures descriptions you, you name it they are the problem solving ninjas of the business and you can do, you can see the names keep popping up popping up and you can just you know you can see all right okay these have got potential so then, you know you, you know where to focus your areas so once you've you know you've got them and you've spotted them you just need to empower them you see, like it says, don't forget a person's greatest emotional need is to feel appreciated. We all want to be appreciated. And in this business, we get appreciated a lot. You know, they come from the corporate world, but they don't get any praise whatsoever. And, you know, you, you just need to make them know how good they are and how important they are, not just to the team, the group, but as the company. You know, the company appreciates them. You know, if they've got a team, highlight how well your third team is doing and why it is. It's because of them. It's because of them you need to let them know. You need to put your arm around them and say, you know, you're doing a fantastic job. You know, your team's flourishing because of you. It's all about empowering. You see, most people initially don't believe that they're leaders. First of all, you've got to bring it out of them. And we do this by encouraging and empowering them. And what you'll start to see, they'll start to unleash talents they didn't even know was there. And that's fantastic to watch. You know, what we do is we don't build them, we just dangle the carrot. And there's lots of um, things to be in, the, in, you know, to, in this business. We've got the cars, we've got the uh, holidays and the checks. And, you know, you can just dangle that carrot and what you'll start to see is all the encouragement and empowerment will see them flourish and grow as a leader. But how do you initially find out who has the leadership quality? You know, why not give them a simple leadership test? Now, this is for distributors who are looking to grow the business. What we'll do, you can say, you know, tell them to read 10 pages of a certain book. Or read the book as a whole. An audio CD. Or tell them to post a certain product on Facebook. Or if they're doing catalogs, you know, you, if you know catalogs yourself, tell them to drop books in a certain area that you know will give some orders. And what you do is you set a deadline, right? And you do this with, with, with these various people. And if you come back and you, you set the deadline, you've gone back to them. If you've done it, you know you have a potential leader. And you know where to focus your main, um, you know, your main time into what people focus that time on. See, in this business, the holy grail is a gold distributor. So that's all there is. You know, you build a gold distributor, and you build another one, and another one, and so on and so on. It's all about building golds to get to the other levels. So what is a gold distributor? You know, just in case you, you, you're new in the business and you're not, not aware of what a gold distributor is. You know, a gold distributor receives the maximum profit, which is 24%. Now, you get that on your retail orders. And you, and you also get it on your uh, members' retail orders as well. Now, there's a fantastic chance that you can go on an international conference by going to gold. 
So, and if you can get on one of them conferences, buy this. They are awesome. They will change your life forever. You will never want to miss another one in your life. Obviously, the, 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 the five star, the luxury, you meet awesome people. They are just amazing. You know, you'll never experience anything like it. And you know what? There's only six steps to get there. 10%, 13, 15, 18, 21. And then the golden nugget is the gold distributor. Now that's only nine thousand pounds worth of business. You don't have to retail all that. That is between you and your team. That is amazing. And once you get there, guess what? You've learned the skills to do it. You can teach this on them. But how do you get people to gold? Now that is the question. You see, it all starts with you and your self development. If you want to build gold leaders, you have to self-develop. You know, that is the key to getting your first goal. Sorry guys, one sec. Slide could be on that. So you've got to first work on yourself before you can actually work on others. You know, that's the main part of it. You know, you need to uh, work on your confidence. You know, and get your confidence sky high. What will this do? Entail and will increase your, you know, increase your knowledge. That'll increase your um, confidence. Um, you know, you need to go through all the scenarios in the business. Um, and once you do that, you know, you want your confidence to go sky high, and then you can actually teach this on, duplicate yourself through your potential leader. And this business is all about duplication. But how do you do that? How do you, you know? How do you self develop? You, you, you read the books first of all. You know, you have got to read ten pages a day. Some people read ten in the morning, and ten at night, and that's called book ending the day. You know, some be positive going in the morning, some be positive going in the evening. You can do it through all the OCDs. You know, um, you can put these into your car. You know, just even if you're not listening fully because you're driving, you know, it'll seep into your subconscious over a period of time, and just constantly be learning not just about yourself about the business just about everything in general the constant learning is like it says it's constant it never stops you'll never learn everything just keep on going right okay so the first one is going to be uh, retail you know you support your, your, your new team to retail and then to sponsor um, once you've got those fundamentals down, the retail and the sponsoring, they can then teach that on. So then they can start sponsoring themselves. These are the fundamentals. And then there's recognition. You need to recognize your new members. You know, as soon as they join, welcome, welcome to the team, congratulations. You know, this is just the start of your new career, you know, and then recognizing with the welcome rewards and, and the next level at 10%, 13%, and so on. But you need to know their goals and their ambitions. And you need to know this for specific reason because if they're having a bad day, you really need to say and you know, just confirm to them, this is your, this was your goal. Do you remember this was your goal? You, know, you want to get to Florida, doesn't you? You know, you, you need this certain amount of money. Come on, let's just get you, you know, just get their arm around the shoulder and give them, you know, a, a good a good shove and that they'll end up having a fantastic day just from that little bit of encouragement because they can remember what their goals are, because they said it. You know, because they said it, it's true. You see, they, they need to focus on the end game too, you know. And the end game here, the gold distributor, get it up on the walls. You know, um, envision themselves being on stage with the, just getting the gold medal. Just constant reaffirming that what they want. You know, you need to be constantly coaching your team uh, on a daily basis, over the phone, over messenger, whatever you need to do, whatever your, you know, what your strength like. But you just need to be constantly coaching your team. Some of these are missing, and I really can't remember which ones they are. Um, encouragement, you know, you need to give them all the encouragement you can. Empowerment, you know, you need to get to meetings, first of all. You know, if they get to meetings, they're going to be full in the mind, full of the right stuff, and they're going to be uh, fantastic leaders in the end. If you're not co currently going to a meetings, try your hardest, because it will grow you as a person, and it will grow your business to, to or in equal measure. You see, it's hard to find one. 
gold distributor. And it's, to be perfectly honest, it didn't even find, it hard to find many. But just relax about it all. Just focus on where you need to be. You know, if you just relax about it, it will all come. If you're doing the actions that your sponsor's telling you to do, that it will just all come naturally for you. Come into numbers game. Now I've put this in here because I say the old ways, we do the old ways still. What well, I just wanted to get a few points across about the old ways and the new ways as we have it. You see, target signings per period was, you know, if you went to your meetings, it would have been for the period. That's, that was your standard. You know, that was 52 a year. You know, the new way, you know, target signs per period, 10. If you've got your business into momentum, 10 is the benchmark of what you're going to be. But that's like nearly three times as much signings coming into your business than you could have done in, in the past. And let me tell you, in the old ways, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever you want to call it, they were building amazing businesses by doing it this way. And we have it so much better. You know, learning hours, there was a meeting once a month and, and um, an online one month a period as well. Uh, so that was about five hours learning time. You know, we've got Zooms once a week. Well, we've actually got twice a week. We've got meetings once a month. Um, you know, you've got constant learning on Facebook. You know, we, we have, you know, four times as much learning time. You know, as they have in those days. Limited time doing income producing activities. You know, they used to go out with the flyers, they used to go out with the catalogs, there was no online at that time. You know, everything was to do outside. Now people have families, they have jobs and commitments. So that was really hard to get everything involved and, and everything done. We can do it unlimited. It's unlimited time that we have. We can sit at home on our phones, mobiles, laptops, whatever you want to do it on. Uh, and we can we can recruit, we can sell, and we can do it all. We can absolutely do it all. But you know what excites me the most? The team building side. You see, what you used to do was team build, and team bonding was done at the conferences, at your meetings, and that was the first time you ever met anybody for the first time. Whereas we have now team bonding and team building within the same hour. You know, we're putting them straight into our support groups. We're getting to know the faces on Facebook. We're constantly on Messenger um, and on the phone, obviously. Um, and you know that 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 grows your business because so, people like to stick then, you know, because you're building relationships. And by the time you get to your conferences, you know these people inside and out, whereas you didn't have that in the, in, in the past. You, you know, we like I said, we have it so well, so good. Um, it's it's so exciting. You know, we're, we're absolutely buzzing with it all. Here's our goals. We got Claire and Mark. Rachel and James, Hannah and Lewis, and we've got Harry and Alastair who are Rachel and James's goals. Um, these are the linchpins of the future. These are the people that were going to come in in 10 years time and go, wow, what have they done? That's fantastic. I need to get to see them at the conferences. You know, and this is what we're building. We're building a future of Clean Easy right now. See, I did have another slide here. It's supposed to be where our next gold is, which is Jo Warman. She went gold last period, like Claire was saying before. She done, you know, signed up 25 last period, 29 this period. She is a phenomenon at this minute in time. She is, you know, whacking the ball up the park. She's amazing. Um, and so, as I said, we've got the, the four goals now, the, the five goals we're having out there. And, you know, like it says there, uh, lead the way, show the way step out the way because these people right now who are building the businesses online and offline are just going to take over these are the people of the future and this is what's going to grow clean to its maximum so the whole talk was about leadership love this book by big al you know how to build network marketing leaders um claire and i have both read it uh, we're going to read it again because there's so much information in there and it's such an easy read just to listen to Big Al, you know, he's brilliant. He comes across real well. Um, steps are just fantastic too. And you, you will pick up some amazing tips to help grow your leaders and the business as a whole for yourself. Like I was saying before, just read 10 pages a day and you will have so much positivity going into your mind that it's, you're going to be unstoppable, unstoppable in this business. Guys, that's 
me for tonight. I would like to thank you all for coming and listening to Claire and I. It's been amazing. Thank you so much, and I shall speak to you all soon.